Hello and welcome back to VTU eLearning platform. In this video, we will going to discuss regarding a fast Ethernet. In the last video, we discussed regarding the standard Ethernet. So, the fast Ethernet is a advanced, a better version compared to that of the standard Ethernet in terms of speed. In 1990s, Ethernet made a big jump by increasing the transmission rate to 100 Mbps. This is mainly because the new LAN technologies with the transmission rates higher than 10 Mbps such as FDDI and fiber channel that has introduced in the market. Now to survive the competition, the standard Ethernet has come out with a newer option and this new generation is called as a fast Ethernet. One of the main goal of the designers of the fast Ethernet is to make it compatible with the standard Ethernet and they don't want to touch this MAC layer without doing any modification to the MAC layer. They wanted to increase the speed of standard Ethernet to a 100 Mbps. As we know that that CSMA CD uh, that the proper operation of a CSMA CD depends on th the transmission rate, the minim minimum size of the frame and the maximum network length. So if we want to keep the minimum size of the frame, the maximum length of the network should be changed. In other words, we can say that the minimum frame size is still 512 bits and it is transmitted 10 times faster. The collision needs to be detected 10 times sooner, which means that a minimum length of the network should be 10 times shorter. So the fast Ethernet come out with the two solutions. The first one is that drop the idea of using a bus topology which is the part of the standard Ethernet and use a passive hub. So hub is a device which is used in the physical layer and using this hub construct the star topology which makes this maximum size of the network 250 meters instead of 2500 meters. This approach is kept compatibility with the standard Ethernet. The next uh, solution is that it uses the link layer switch. So with a buffers that are provided at every interface. So as, as it is a switch means an intelligent device which is the part of data link layer. The switch is a data link layer uh, element. Okay and the buffers which are provided at every interface is to store the frame and it offers and a full duplex connections for each host to make it transmission medium private to each port uh, i mean each host in this case we don't need that carrier sends multiple access collision detection technique mainly because here the hosts are not competing with each other like uh, say 
that uh, in a bus topology in a bus topology every host is trying to compete with each other to gain the excess of the medium whereas here in this case so we are connecting every host to a different interfaces and every host is supported with a full duplex medium and here they are not competing with each other as it, it is already told that this switch is an intelligent device which offers a buffers as soon as one transmits a data it will be stored over here so after processing the frame it will be forwarded to the proper interface it will not be made to be available to all other devices but when it comes to a hub okay uh, when you look at the physical structure of the hub more or less it looks like the switch but the way in which it operates is different from that of the switch in, in case of the hub if one transmits the data once host transmits the data it will be available on all ports but this is not the case with the switch so because of this there is no question of uh, say competition between the devices hosts to gain an access uh, and there will be no collision so this eliminates the use of uh, the CSMA CD apart from this the new feature that is added to a fast Ethernet is auto negotiation feature this auto negotiation So this auto negotiation feature. So this allows the stations or a hub a range of capabilities. Auto negotiation allows a two uh, two devices to negotiate the mode or a data rate of operation. It, it is say designed particularly to allow that incompatible devices to connect one another say for example the device with a say data rate of 10 mbps device with a data rate of 10 megabits per second can communicate with a device with a data rate of 100 mbps so this is what is a meaning of a two negotiation this is a additional feature what we find in a say fast ethernet now to able to handle this 100 mbps speed there we, we uh, say this fast ethernet also has made a many changes to a physical layer so few of those changes we will highlight here so the first change is to an encoding scheme okay the first scheme is uh, first change is for encoding schemes so As you know that standard Ethernet uses the Manchester encoding scheme, whereas the fast Ethernet uses 4B slash 5B encoding. Every four bits will be encoded as a 5-bit data, and it also uses one more encoding scheme that is MLT3 scheme encoding scheme so these two are the part of encoding when it uses say that 100 BA 100 base TX cables so basically these are 
either untwisted pair or uh, say unshielded twisted pair or a shielded twisted pair cables and it can support a distance up to 100 meters and it is implementation this implementation is called say 100 base tx this is what is the encoding scheme uh, one encoding scheme that is used with a say twisted pair cables the second one when it comes to a fiber optic cables so which we call it as 100 base fx implementation here too we use a 4b slash 5b encoding along with a say nrz scheme one second so i'll rewrite it 4b slash 5b encoding scheme along with nrz i scheme so these two will be used together so first it will be encoded using this and then using this there are a two encoding schemes you will find here so in a previous case too we have seen that there are two encoding techniques to encode the data and it uses two fibers and these fibers support up to 185 meters the maximum distance it can support is 185 and the next version is that is 100 base t4 100 base t4 technique which uses say untwisted uh, unshielded twisted pair cable it can support up to 100 meters and it needs four wires support of four wires so the, this is what is the uh, difference between 100 base tx where there we use only two wires whereas here we use a four wires because of which say uh, it can go up to say 100 meters and an uh, encoding scheme used in this case is that is 8b slash 60 scheme okay 8b slash 60 encoding scheme at both the sides encoding side as well as uh, i mean two such schemes will be used 8b 60 okay so 8b 60 will be used so two times we encode it using that so this is all about the physical layer changes that are needed for say fast ethernet